Geothermal energy is thermal energy generated and stored in the Earth. The geothermal energy in the Earth's crust originates from the formation of the planet. The difference in temperature between the core of the planet and the surface drives a continuous conduction of thermal energy toward the surface. This upward heat migration causes adjacent rock and water to heat up, sometimes up to 370 degrees Celsius or 700 degrees Fahrenheit. The Ring of Fire is a major area in the basin of the Pacific Ocean where many earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur. It consists of a large 25,000 mile long horseshoe shaped geologic structure that contains 452 volcanoes. These hot spots in the Earth's crust generate very hot geothermal fluid resources. Additional hot fluid resources appear along the fissures and fault lines associated with the Ring of Fire and all other plate tectonics around the globe. The United States contains a large, high-grade geothermal resource located in the Pacific Northwest, which extends into the Rocky Mountains. However, there is also a vast, low-grade geothermal resource throughout the western states, located at shallower depths and which occasionally appears as hot springs. It is estimated that the Earth's total hydrothermal resource available for electricity production could produce 8 million terawatt hours per year. As you can see in the chart, the total annual global electricity production and demand is only 24,000 terawatts. Obviously, geothermal power production could supply the world with all its electric power needs. Instead, geothermal power supplies just 84.8 terawatt hours per year, far less than 1% of the world demand. What are the reasons for this gross underutilization of the planet's geothermal gift? Geothermal heat energy must be converted into mechanical energy in order to produce electricity. Traditional geothermal conversion equipment is expensive and requires high temperatures of greater than 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 148 degrees Celsius and high pressures in excess of 500 psi or 34 bar. To acquire these high temperatures and pressures, the production wells must be drilled very deep typically ranging between 5,000 feet or 1,500 meters and 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters or more. Deep wells are also costly, ranging from two and a half to five million dollars each. Larger 20 megawatts or more geothermal power plants require multiple production and injection wells. Finally, deep wells containing high temperatures and pressures invariably contain dissolved minerals requiring regular expensive mitigation maintenance for the conversion equipment and the wells themselves. The ability of Novel Therm's process to operate at lower temperatures allows shallower, less expensive wells to provide the energy source. How has Novel Therm resolved these difficult problems? Novel Therm uses a different class of geothermal conversion equipment, which among other benefits does not require deeply drilled high temperature wells. But first, let's explore traditional geothermal conversion equipment. This slide contains a diagram of a flash steam turbine conversion system that is dependent on high-grade geothermal pressures and temperatures to function. These systems are plagued with high turbine and system maintenance costs, excessive noise, and often offensive odors. Deep wells may generate pressure releases that can trigger mild local earthquakes. Finally, trapped greenhouse gases can be released with this process. This slide demonstrates the components of a more common binary or organic Rankine cycle geothermal conversion technology. Here, hot geothermal fluid is brought to the surface and channeled through a heat exchanger and then, in a closed loop fashion, is re-injected back into the high temperature aquifer. Then, the energized heat exchanger transfers its heat into a low boiling point working fluid like ammonia. In this closed loop component, the ammonia boils and changes its phase into a high pressure gas. The pressurized gas is then run through a turbine to make power. 
The gas is then cooled to convert it back into a liquid, which allows the process to repeat itself continuously. Deep wells are required, although not as deep as those needed for flash steam turbines, since the temperature needed for maximum efficiency is a minimum of 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. These systems are also burdened with well maintenance and turbine replacements. A viable geothermal power solution must avoid costly deep wells, short-lived costly turbines, and the need for expensive well and equipment maintenance. Novotherm accomplishes this by employing a modified Stirling heat engine that eliminates geothermal headaches. Our conversion technology avoids the need for deep well drilling as the device operates at the temperature of hot coffee, a relatively mild temperature range of 170 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 76 to 93 degrees Celsius. As a result of our unique low maintenance engines, the ongoing cost to operate our power plants averages only one and a half cents per kilowatt hour. This diagram demonstrates that unlike the organic Rankine cycle system, our working fluid only needs to expand and contract without changing phase. As it expands, it pushes a piston assembly that compresses and pressurizes common hydraulic fluid. Not only can our engine make electricity at these low temperatures where others cannot, it does so at an economically viable efficiency. Instead of spinning a turbine, our system sees several piston assemblies slowly moving back and forth, pressurizing hydraulic fluid to a steady 5,000 psi or 344 bar. The pressurized hydraulic fluid is fed into a hydraulic motor, which then turns a generator to produce electricity. Since the piston assemblies require two and a half minutes for each revolution, internal wear is minimal, which portends a power plant lifespan estimated at 40 years. This photo is of an early version field installation in Hawaii, powered by a focused solar heat source. It is rated at 250 kilowatts, or approximately 300 horsepower. By using this breakthrough geothermal conversion technology, Novotherm is prepared to positively impact the present day and future power needs of the IT industry. Finally, the IT and general demand for electrical power is expanding, and geothermal power is a viable and widely available renewable energy solution.